We are getting coursework. Good morning, first of all. I have three things which I should probably catch you up on. This current self-isolation situation, because it has been over a month since I posted a video and I'm really sorry about that. The second one being the gammy leg, the knee situation that happened. And then the third one being today. So first off, as you might have noticed, I am in London at the moment. I'm not home in Brighton. And that is mainly because our family don't own a car. So it was gonna be quite troublesome getting home by the train in the tube with all the germs and stuff like that because my dad's asthmatic and I felt a bit uncomfortable potentially bringing stuff back from London and then also I've got exams my exam timetable should be coming out today so fingers crossed that's good but here I have a desk whereas at home if you've seen in any of my GCSE or A level videos you'll know that I revise on the floor with my stuff on the bed it's just a little bit more efficient if I revise here so I thought that's why I'll stay for the moment a couple of weeks before the down I had this accident with my leg hence why I've got these crutches I basically was putting too much pressure and too much strain from the increase in exercise that I was doing on my surgery knee you might remember when I got my knee surgery for my ACL reconstruction um, and that was about a year and a half ago so I've actually been on crutches for the past four weeks I've got two more weeks to go but yeah so that was quite hard I'd done lots of food deliveries when I could um, to get my food stuff in and plus Nicole is home as well with me which is really nice today I've got to do an entire consumer behavior coursework I just have an internal deadline in my head and today is the day that I'd like to complete it. I've done a little bit of pre-reading on like the articles and stuff that it needs to be about. So the project is quite similar to a consulting project. So if you had to change a consumer's perspective of the brand Burberry, so that's what I've got to do. Something that's been quite nice that Nicole and I have been doing is our morning yoga. And as you might know from my previous videos with my mum, my mum is so flexible. She is like, she knows her meditation stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> She's actually going to FaceTime me and Nicole at 8.30, so in about 5-10 minutes. And she's going to teach us some meditation this morning for probably about half an hour to an hour. That's our usual time slot. Hello. Really easy. <laughs> okay. That's what we need. Something nice and easy. Uh, okay. So you bring your hands up. This is number one. Buddha's showing a thousand arms. Your right hand is facing heaven. Yeah. Left hand is facing Thank you very much, Mum. You're welcome. Have a lovely day. You have a lovely day. Well done. Thank you, Joy. Thank bye. You. bye. Love you. Bye bye. Love you, darlings. Well, Nicole said she felt the energy, <laughs> and so uh, I did also hear your stomach rumbling quite a bit. Oh no, I'm starving. Yeah, me too. So the smoothie of today, I think, is going to be some pineapple, apple, milk, some soy milk that I've got, and maybe some frozen grapes. So it's going to be a greener one today. This isn't the best one, but still free of my photo. It's just gone 10 o'clock, teeth have been cleaned, and I am now going to get started on my coursework. So I've got a couple of articles that I'm going to read based on the decline of Burberry and hopefully the regeneration of the brand. Um, so I'm hoping that won't take me any more than a couple of hours because I'm a very slow reader. And then I can get started on creating a plan on this beautiful whiteboard that I've created from a mirror. Last year I made a study revision video and it included these whiteboard sheets like cling film kind of thing that I've stuck along my mirror I basically also did that for all of my internship application videos to pretend that I've got a clean white background I thought that was really smart I'm gonna basically storyboard my plan on there that is because of their um, like um, I finished reading my articles, but now I think it's time for a snack. Yesterday, Nicole and I baked some scones. That was the first time Nicole's ever baked scones before, and I'd say they are pretty decent. Apparently my exam timetable is out. So 
So my corporate finance exam is gonna be a two-part exam, 24 hour open book take home exam and a timed multiple choice question. Then on the third of, eh? No, oh my God, no. We are getting coursework. Answer one coursework question in total out of one question. Why has Walmart been so successful? That is our question. Note that these papers are technically above the level of this course and therefore technical detail is not expected in your answer. But how am I meant to understand the papers? <laughs> so I've got one exam in May and I've got one coursework due for the start of June and then I've got my final exam on the 8th of June which is really lucky actually because I potentially start my internship the next week so it's lucky that that didn't go any later oh that's so weird but at least I know now I know some of my friends at like the University of Surrey they're not finding out until the end of April like in the last week which is so bad especially because there's so much stress going on already like you don't need that on top of it oh that's so lucky I actually had the wrong date for my macro exam I thought it was on the 7th of May because I can't read it's actually on the 22nd of May I should also say that I feel so bad for all the students that are doing their GCSEs and A levels and then just that was it there's so much stress like I know a lot of people are like are they happening in August like what's gonna happen with university stuff and gap year plans and things as well I feel slightly lightheaded after all of that I speak about these bars all the time because they are the best bars I brought a box of 20 of them and I have almost finished Ugh, so dirty because it is 1,000 words, it means that it's gonna be 100 words per slide. And I don't really know how much I'm writing. So I'm just gonna do this kind of brain splatter that I've written on here. And then I'm gonna to attempt to write it up on my laptop. This is all of the research that I've done from the articles that I've read. It's not even two o'clock yet, so I was quicker than I expected. I just had a very late lunch of my Mediterranean salad. Um, Nicole is still busy making TikToks. So if you're gonna hear that in the background, that's what the music is. I am gonna just sit on my bed and read through my notes now so that I can find those theories and the concepts to analyze my points that I found in my articles. Also, layout-wise, I would say with the slide 10, the digital marketing continued. I'd I am finding it so hard to focus. So, I'm gonna do a mud mask. That way, this gives me 10 to 15 minutes to be productive, and then I will wash this off. I won't leave this on for any longer than 10 to 15 minutes because one of my subscribers did tell me that if you leave it on for longer, then the effects of it apparently just get reversed or something because it clogs back up the pores. I don't really know, but I listened to that person because they sounded like they knew what they were talking about, and I don't. Basically, this brush used to be a double-ended foundation brush and it fell off and I was like, I'm not gonna bin it. So I now use this to apply my face masks nice and evenly. This is actually the same face mask that I used in my library video. So throw back to that time. If you've watched that video, let me know in the comments because that has actually scarred me. So it's just gone three o'clock. I will take this off at quarter past with my, this is like one of those washable face cloths that are basically like you know the things that you use to clean your computer screens it's like that so it gets rid of stuff really easily and it's meant to be better for the environment but i don't use this when i remove my makeup because my skin is way too sensitive for that and it kind of pulls a bit too much but with a mud mask perfect now it's time for the best part once you've done a face mask then putting on all of the facial oils so that your skin doesn't get dry also guys please appreciate the fake burberry i don't know if this goes against some sort of um copyright claims but i i made this burberry out of using different fonts and spacings oh my god my computer's so hot because it's been in the sun So I've got a bit of a headache because I have been staring at my computer for so long. So I thought I'd come to my desk and I'd write some Easter cards. Basically, I designed these Easter cards so many years ago, like pre-GCSE. I think it might have even been GCSE art. And I scanned it onto my computer and then I printed it out onto this card and then I never sent them. And I thought, you know, while we're in lockdown, it would be quite nice for my grandma, my home and like my flatmate to get some cards 
to brighten their day hopefully and just wish them a happy easter despite what's going on so so i have written my nan's card but i am thinking to make it a bit more special um because sometimes when you have a grandma with dementia she doesn't really remember who you are but if you send her a photo of you and you also remind her on the back that this has been sent by her favorite grandchild then she'll remember straight away that it's from Maying. hopefully that brings back a few memories <laughs> so i printed out this cute little photo of me and mum together and then i'm going to see if i can get one with maybe poi ming and the dog or something like that i am now onto my last film packet which is the blue marble i hope my grandma appreciates this now Nicole is about to go on her walk because she does not have a broken leg like I do and when she goes out I am going to place our letter by the doorstep like all of the postmen and postwomen have been doing then when she comes back from her walk in an hour she can see this and be like oh they dropped a letter and it's from me it turns out I've got something called no restraint, but this time I went for a cheese scone and then because I love cheese so much, I put Philadelphia on top. Something important that I have to do is select my modules for third year. So I did actually pick them out two or three days ago, but I just wanted to kind of let it sit and see if anything changes. I did a little bit of an Instagram story while I was picking my modules and I kind of put up my do's and my don'ts for what I pick and what I don't pick. First term, I chose entrepreneurial finance, private equity and venture capital, digital marketing, and also labor economics. That does mean that I have two modules which are 100% coursework, which is quite a lot for me because I'm definitely an exam kind of person. Term two, I'm pretty much all exams. I've got financial statement analysis, psychology of financial markets, company law, corporate social responsibility. Woo! There we have it! These will be the things that I will be showing you on my vlogs next year. It is now coming up to seven o'clock, which means that Nicole could be home anytime. What? That you, yeah? No, that's not me. Have you got a letter from your neighbour? From my neighbour? This could just be a friend from you. I don't have any friends. Are you sure? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> I got you so good! <laughs> I knew it was your writing! <laughs> I know I should have disguised that more. <laughs> and I thought it, I'd feel really smart by putting it outside. <laughs> I was so bashful. Tonight we are making our favourite quesadillas. This was in the student cookbook that I released for free. If you'd like to download it, I'll leave it in the description box below. One great thing is that both Nicole and I love cooking, so it's really nice. While we've both been home, we've been making the most of it and making our dinners together. And then we watch a show together. So yesterday it was Great British Bake Off. Before then, we were watching Celebs Go Dating. Um, lots of just rubbish TV, just so that we can kind of relax after a long day and just kind of zone out a bit. With regards to my coursework, I must admit, I always do this where I overestimate my abilities. But yeah, I don't think I am going to be able to finish this today. I will probably have to do this over the weekend, but that's fine. Like, this isn't actually the deadline. I am going to have a bath and I'm going to do a little hair mask. I know I do never wash but it's better for the environment that way also for our water bill too I'll do a bit more work but tonight is my last night of Disney plus the free week premium trial thing it runs out so I'm gonna watch Lilo and Stitch and then I'm going to fall asleep but I really hope you enjoyed the video today if you did feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos on this channel and I'll see you next week have a lovely day bye